Hi there you, my bidding friends and Merry Christmas. I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Bidding and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful colorful seed bead holiday earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads, yellow, red and green and you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want for the same project. Here I'm using earring findings in golden color. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 cm, so 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And by the way, guys, down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. So you could definitely check this out. Let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And I also sometimes squeeze my monofilament to go through the eye of my needle. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span or even a little bit more than an arm span of thread and I will start. Okay guys, and I'm starting my colorful holiday work by picking up six of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, I have six of those and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I do this, I take my tail thread and go twice through the loop I've made. Then I gently pull and then I want to make one more knot and this is called half hitch knot or surgeon's knot and it's really secure. And when you make one more knot, everything stays in its place. Okay, now I pull like this. And in my next step, guys, I'm going to pick up green beads. Okay, I take one green and as I'm exiting here through this yellow, you see, I'm going in the next yellow, like this. You tell me that I cover with my fingers the beginning of my work. Now, that is why now I'm going to try to fix this problem. Okay, I'm taking one more green and I'm going here. like this and I will repeat this until the end. One more. Sometimes it's hard not to cover, especially when I pull, but I'll do my best. Okay, and I will do this three more times. Okay guys, and now I have the beginning of my work. Now what I want to do is go out through one of those newly added green beads. Just like this, I'm exiting here out of this one. And now I'm going to pick up three green beads. Okay, three greens. And I go here through the following green. Okay, then I take three more green beads and I go in the next seed bead. Then I'm going to repeat these steps until the end of this row. Thank you. 
If it's too fast for you, just slow down from the options or just go back to the part where I'm showing it slowly and repeat until the end. Okay, now it's time for my next row. And in order to do this, I'm going here through this bead that is sticking out the most, the middle of the tree I added in my previous step. And now I'm going to take five red beads. And as I have my five red beads here, I'm going through the top here, through the next bead that is sticking out the most, the middle of the tree. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going to show you one more time. Five and go here. Then again, five, go here. And I will continue this until the end of this work. Okay, guys, now I have this. This row is ready. And what I'm going to do next is again exit through the middle of these five beads, the one that is sticking out the most. In order to reach it, I'm going through three beads in this direction. Okay, here I am. And I'm going to take three yellow beads. And as I'm exiting here through this bead, the central one, I'm going back in circle through it, just like this. And I pull. And you see, guys, here I have a loop between this top bead and these three beads. Then I go through the next two red beads. And now what I need to add is another yellow bead. And I'm going again through the following three red beads, okay? Adding one and going through three. Again, I'm exiting here at this middle bead that's sticking out the most. And I take three yellow beads and I go back like this. Forming again a loop between this red bead and these three beads and I pull. Then I go through the following two red beads. Take just one. And go through the following three. Then again take three. Go back like this. And next to the green one. In one movement just to save time. Okay, then again I need a yellow, and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this uh, row and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and as I continue the same way, I'm up to here where I'm adding my last bit. If you're not sure how to do this, rewind and repeat the first three steps that I showed you until the end and you will have this. Okay, now what I want to do is exit out of these yellow beads here at the top. I'm repositioning my thread so I'm going through three of them. Okay, and I'm going to take two yellow beads and I'm going in this newly added yellow. Okay, then I take two more. 
Don't worry that at this stage your work will bend a little bit. We'll fix it later. Okay. And then I pull like this. Okay, guys. And I must tell you that it's easier for me to flip my work at this stage and go in this direction. It's all the same in which direction you work. But if it's easier for you, go in the other direction. Uh, since I'm right-handed, this is what helps me a lot. But I know that a lot of you creative people are left-handed. So uh, it's uh, if it's easier for you, go in the other direction. Okay, so now I will continue this process. This row is really easy and really pleasant. I'm just going to add two seed beads everywhere and I will connect those beads that I added in my previous row in a nice and beautiful yellow line. Star-shaped line, if I could say this. Okay, continue and meet me here. Okay, guys, now I want to add my last two beads from this row. And what I'm going to do next is start my next row. And for my next row, I will need green beads. So I take three green beads. I go back in circle like this through the top. Then in my next step, I will go through two yellow beads like this. And here I want to add another green bead. And then skip this one that is after the inner angle and go through the next three beads. Okay, this is what I do. I want to straighten up my work a little bit. That's why I'm doing this. In my previous step, I was going through this one and this one. And now I'm going through this one and this one. I'm doing this on purpose to straighten up my work a little bit. Okay, I'm going like this. Just follow the steps and everything will be okay. And now I take one. I'm one bead before this angle and then one bead after the angle, the inner angle I mean, and then my goal is to exit here. If I should follow my formula perfectly, I should go through this one and this one, but now for the sake of my work straightening up, I prefer to do this this way. Maybe it's a good idea to use transparent thread because otherwise it might show. Transparent or clear thread. I'm repeating one and the same thing until the end and I'll meet you here. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my last green bead from this row. Now I want to go here. And again, my goal is to go through all of the green beads here. Through all of the three beads. Now in my next step, I'm going to take three green beads and go here in this green. In my previous step, I was adding two. Now I'm adding three to finish this beautiful line, star-shaped line around the corners. Okay, and as you know, I prefer to go in the other direction. That is why I'm going to flip and I'm going to go like this. Then I will continue absolutely the same easy thing, adding three beads everywhere. Here I add three, three again,
and three again. And I will continue this and meet you here. And here I am guys where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, pull like this. And now in my next row I'm going to do similar thing what I showed you before. First I add three beads at here my angle or the bead that's sticking out the most. Then what I do is go through four beads in this direction and exit next to the angle. And here I need one red and then again go through these four in this direction aiming for the angle bead. And I'm reaching this angle now. Then again I need three like I did before. Go back through the angle and through the four beads after this. If you can do this in one movement, if not in two or more, whatever works best. And now I take one and as I go here in the bit next to the angle, I go through these four beads and if you can, you could also go through the fifth, which is the angle beat. But if it's easier, as I said, you could do it in two or three movements. I'm just saving time in this way. Okay, and I need three. And again, here through all of those five beats in total, counting the angle. And then one. And again, through as many beats as you can in one movement. Okay. Finish this and meet me here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding one bead at the angle. What I want to do is go in this direction. And I want to exit through all of the three beads here. Now, I was considering adding four beads here, but after that, I saw that three work better for, in my case. Okay, so here I'm going to add three beads again. If it works better for you, you could uh, add four, but in my case, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the of the brand of the beads that I'm using or something else, but here at this step that you would expect to use four beads, three work better. Okay, so I'm adjusting my work to what I have here. Why I say that I expected four to work because in my previous two steps I had two then three and it was only natural to add four, but not three is better, as you may see. If I add four, everything starts to bend out like this and it doesn't look very good. Okay, I will finish this and meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm adding here my last three beads from this row. And by the way, uh, meanwhile, I flip my work. I was going in this direction, then I flip it. And that's why I'm going from this side. As, you I as I told you, it's easier for me to go like this counterclockwise because I'm right handed. And now what I need to do is take three beads and I'm going back here through this top. Then I'll do the familiar step. I'm going here through four red beads and I'm exiting next to the inner angle. Take one yellow and go through some beads in, in this direction. 
and my goal is to add here the top. It's absolutely the same like I did in my previous rows. Nothing different, nothing complicated. Okay. I'm adding it like this. Exiting again next to the angle. Adding just one bit. And going through all of the beads and next to the angle. And I'll show you one more time these two steps. The first step is adding three beads at the angle. And the second step adding one bead at the inner angle. Okay, and I'm going to continue this and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. And now maybe you would expect to connect these beads together. But no, I'm going to finish my work in a little bit different way. If you want, you could definitely finish it like this. But now I'm giving you another possible design. And now where I am, one red bead before this yellow in the center. And I'm going to take five yellow beads. Okay, I have my five beads here. And I'm skipping this yellow in the center and the red one after that. And I'm going in the next red. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going to continue around this line here. And I want to be one red bit away from this yellow. Here you see where my thread is. One red bit away from the yellow. And I'm taking five again. Okay, five. Skip this yellow and the red after this and go like this. And I will show you one more time and let you do this until the end by yourself. Okay, here I'm one red bead away from the yellow and I'm going to take five. Okay, five. And I skip the yellow in the center. And uh, I go through the next few beads in this direction, through as many as I can. Okay, now guys, I'm going to repeat this three more times and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm adding here my last five beads from this row. And you could leave your work like this and attach directly the earring finding. But now I want to make an additional step. And I will show you what this step is. I go through all of those beads and I want to reach the newly added five beads in my previous row. And now here, in order the edge of my earring to stay in a better shape, I want to make an angle. Okay, so how I do this, I go through two of these five beads, then I skip the angle bead and go through the next two. And then I pull. And when I pull, you see how this angle is formed. And I think it looks better. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. And this is not obligatory step, but I find it looking really better when I do this. And um, I'm going here. And I go through the two beads of my five, then skip the middle one of those five and go through these two and then through some beads in this direction 
and when I pull you see I have this beautiful angle okay and I'm going to do this until the end and I'll be back okay guys and I'm here where I'm making my last angle and now what I want to do is go backwards through those beads and I want to reach this angle one more time okay because here is where I'm going to attach my earring finding okay and I will take my earring finding I will take a red bead my earring finding and a red bead okay this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this yellow okay like this and now I'm going to reinforce Okay, and right after reinforcing, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I go here at the angle, I make a loop, and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made, and I pull. Then I could repeat this knot several more times. And when I'm ready with the last knot, I go through the next seed bead and cut my thread. Okay, and now my colorful holiday earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my colorful holiday earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. And in this way, you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. You could also check description for a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips. And you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel thank you so much for watching thank you for liking sharing and commenting bye bye from me